Welcome to Day 6 of Train Week 2021. On this episode, we're exploring the CN Park Station and Grounds in Dauphin, Manitoba. We're starting out here at the station, and we'll get back here shortly. But first, let's take a little walk through the grounds as we explore. It was 1896 when the Lake Manitoba Railway and Canal Company purchased land and created the town site of Dauphin. The track from Gladstone made its way to Dauphin by November 1897, and when the train arrived, so did people who flocked to this Manitoba community. This wasn't known as the Lake Manitoba Railway for long, though. The company had big plans and changed its name to something you know fairly well, the Canadian Northern Railway. That change reflected the plans to extend the railway all the way to Vancouver. That's right, Manitoba was home to the rail lines that eventually became Canadian Northern. Many of the towns in this part of the province owe their existence to the company. It was 1917 when the company was nationalized and became what we know today as the Canadian National Railway, or CN Rail. See that little cement pad up ahead? That's marking the spot of the original train station that was much closer to Main Street than the current building. It had a walkway right to the street. Back then, the street was known as Gartmore Road. It was later changed to Main Street. Now this old spot is a nice flat area where you could hold an event or just enjoy the green space. Everything from where we started at the station, past the statue and all the way to this sign up ahead, is known as CN Park, and it's a favorite spot of Dauphin. Sometimes you'll find vendors here, other times you'll find events, and of course in the wintertime, you'll even find some Christmas lights. But it's summer today, so we're enjoying a look at the nice green grass as we explore CN Park. Let's talk about the statue we just walked by. That's Colonel William Barker, Canada's most decorated war hero. He was born in Dauphin in 1894, just two years before the railway arrived. He shot down more than 46 enemy aircraft, and while he was injured in the war, he went on to be a test pilot. In 2021, the United Kingdom named an aircraft after Barker. His story is amazing. If you like history, it's worth checking out. Besides this statue, you'll also find a school named after Barker and Dauphin, and the airport bears his name as well. well. Let's skip back toward the station. Along the way, you'll find a bunch of plaques. Each one tells part of the story of this spot. The building has been renovated and is in great shape. Part of it is offices now, but there's also a railway museum located inside. Unlike a lot of the older stations, this one makes you feel like you're really inside history. You can easily imagine how impressive it was when built. So there's little carts out front, and they have flowers on them as well. That alone is worth stopping to see. Generous walkways make the grounds look amazing, and right out in front of this station is actually a bit of an intersection, so the road leads right to the station doors, as it were. To the side of the station, there's a CN rail caboose that's fully restored and looking sharp with just a touch of graffiti, but I'm sure the volunteers will take care of that shortly. I can still remember when each train I saw had one of these metal cabooses. But if you go back a bit before my time, cabooses were of course made of wood. These were the ones that ended caboose service when the cabooses stopped being on the end of the trains. Well, a lot of these unfortunately disappeared, but the lucky ones ended up in places like this, where they've been loved ever since as a reminder of days gone by. The platform here has a small modern day station for Via Rail. It kind of looks a little bit like a bus stop. Inside, there's a train schedule to tell you when the train's coming, although for the most part, you would book your tickets ahead of time so the train knew to stop. The passenger train still goes through Dauphin on its way from Winnipeg to Churchill. Not a lot of people get on and off, but there is some traffic, and the train usually stops here for a few minutes for those on board to stretch their legs. Here's the trackside view of the station. We're visiting during the COVID summer, so we can't get inside the museum to show you around. We'll come back another time and take a peek at all the artifacts. I've spent an hour or two in there before, and there's some great stories to be told. At the very end of the platform is a sign reminding you there is indeed a railway museum located inside. 
You can Google the museum to find out the current hours when you're planning your trip to Dauphin. Out in front, there's a little bit of museum artifacts, and this is so cool. This switch has been changed, so they actually flip that over to change the sign. Today it says closed, but if it was open, they'd simply flip the switch, and it would say museum open. Well, looking from the station down the street, I want to show you just how that intersection works, because you see how the road comes, and you're straight into the station. That's part of how you build these buildings to look so impressive. The baggage wagons you find on display are very typical of what you would have seen here when freight trains were stopping. These would be loaded on the train and then brought to the station. Now it serves double purpose of shielding the light a little bit. At night, this station is lit bright as can be. It looks amazing. And if you want to see that, if you search for our Dauphin Christmas light video, you'll find a picture of that station at Christmas with those lights on to show you just how bright it is. No trip to a train station is really complete without also seeing a train. So let's wander through the park here really quick because it looks like Via Rail is in town. Now they've just completed their stop at the station and they're heading eastbound for Winnipeg here. We'll get to see the train go by. We barely got here in time for this, but you'll see the train coming and we'll just give it a watch here for a second. There's much more video to come though, so wait till the train's gone and we will explore a little bit more of some neat things around the station grounds. In Western Canada, you usually see the Canadian on the main line, but this is not that train. This is that Manitoba train that runs Winnipeg to Churchill. Observation car on the train this afternoon as it heads on out. See how quickly it speeds up to? And the train is off and on its way toward Winnipeg. The crossing on Main Street here does have arms. You'll see those coming up in a moment, but there can be trains that are rather long. And so there's something for you if you're walking too. Yeah, the car's up to stop, but Dauphin has a pedestrian underpass for the railway. That's kind of cool because there's not a lot of those around. Here's a little flower pot just on the sidewalk. And we're gonna take a walk through the pedestrian walkway here so you can see exactly what it looks like. The sidewalk's blocked off, so you're forced to walk under here, train or no train, but that's okay. It's kind of neat, it's not too long because only a single track going under here, so we don't have to worry about that. But there's a couple interesting things that you should notice. See those black things up above us there? Well, it looks like that's some sort of a trellis or something to hold maybe some plants. That's not it at all. That's actually holding this pedestrian walkway open because it was starting to collapse. We'll come back in a moment and take a closer look at that so you can see exactly how it works. Now, obviously they've done a lot of work painting here and making this beautiful and some people have kind of ruined that a little bit, but you can see the paint job pretty well and you can still figure out what they were trying to do why people have to draw all over everything well i may never understand that as we come up the other side here you see again some more of those black metal things and let's take a look maybe at exactly why those are there you may have spotted it already but we'll go back do a bit of a close-up and show you the trick in action just before we do though i do want to swing around here and show you how beautiful they've made the part of this where the sidewalk is blocked off now you wouldn't normally walk here but check out all the flowers they have put along this walkway we're just gonna kind of cheat here and go where there is no sidewalk so you can see all the window boxes dauphin calls itself the city of sunshine but you could also call it the city of flowers they've done a lot of work to make dauphin into a very welcoming town of course dauphin's home to dauphin's country fest one of the longest running music festivals in canada that goes almost every summer except unfortunately in the covid years but otherwise they do an amazing job there if you go across the track well more flowers on the other side and here's a quick peek at that crossing that goes across Main Street. Well, here's the close-up I'm talking about. See how the wall is way far out there? Well, look what happens as you go down the cement here. 
See how it's getting narrower and narrower? Well, that's where the pressure of the ground was actually causing this tunnel to collapse. So those metal pieces you see up there aren't about looking nice. They're actually about keeping the cement from collapsing anymore. The other side, the same thing too. See how it's out several inches here at the top? You can see there's been a lot of movement. Some old electrical work there from years gone by too. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom, well, that's how it should have been touching like that. Well, we'll take one more look at some of the artwork on the side. There's a picture of the station drawing on there, a nice mural. Now you can see what looks like some beach and some lake here. Rainbow Beach isn't far from Dauphin. We have an episode all about that. Search it up on the channel. You'll see where you could have some fun. And we're going to just come back up the walkway here, turn and look at the park. We've got one more train to come though, because, well... Could we really expect to not have at least one freight train in a train week episode? We'll see that in a second. For now though, thanks for visiting Doff and we've had a great time showing you around CN Park and the station grounds, plus of course a bit of the station itself. Here's that train. Hey, enjoy this one more day of train week to come. That's tomorrow, day number seven. Farewell for now from Dauphin, Manitoba.